What up everybody, this is Soibees, and this is back with another video. You know, I haven't made a video on this channel for a minute, so I, you know, I came back to bless you guys with something, you know. So I was like, you know what I'm gonna do? Let me make a video, so let's get this thing rolling. Alright, in this video, man, I like to call this video, The Pretty Girl. The Pretty Girl. What is the pretty girl? Everybody knows a pretty girl, a bad bitch, a dime, all that shit, all the above, what everything y'all niggas wanna call them. And we know them. And in the world, we love pretty girls. They get everything handled to them easily. They don't gotta work as hard. The ugly bitches gotta work extra fucking hard. That's why they fucking hate their asses. Like, I can't stand these bitches. You know what I'm saying? And then not every pretty girl is a light skinned bitch. Like how some people say, oh, a Spanish bitch or a white bitch, this and that. You pretty, you pretty. And these bitches know they pretty. And the thing is that when they pretty, they know how to use their pretty powers and shit to get things out of stupid niggas like me and other niggas that's out there. So in this video, I'm gonna show you some examples, share some examples how these pretty girls be finessing us niggas and shit. And I'm gonna let y'all know about that. All right, example numero uno, number one. Pretty girls love to fucking eat. These girls, they fucking hungry ass bitches. They love to eat. We all love to eat, but these bitches, they love to fucking eat, my nigga. And the thing is that, like, yo, they will finesse a friend's old dumb nigga like us to fucking get them some food and shit. And the thing is that, we will go do it. And the thing is that, a pretty girl, they don't have a problem eating with nobody. This could be a fucking serial killer. The nigga gonna take out the food. She gonna ain't, she ain't gonna say no. She gonna say hell oh, yeah, nigga. And the thing is that it starts out, you know, there's levels to this shit. You know what I'm saying? And it's gonna start out very small and casual, like something that's not gonna really be bothering your pockets like that. It's gonna start out with something like Wendy's. You know, you might take her ass to four for four or some shit like that. And you know, and then it might go to fucking, you know, Applebee's. That still ain't hurting your pocket. You might do two for 20. That ain't shit. you like, yo, ain't nothing. Ain't killing the player. Right? And then later on, it's going to gradually build, you know. And then the from Applebee's, you're going to be dishing into fucking P.F. Chang's. And after P.F. Chang's, you might be going to Philippe's. And after Philippe's, you might be going to something else. And everything is like, you're going to be that dumb nigga that's going to be feeding her. And... Sometimes you're gonna be she gonna be on everything on the menu even plus dessert too You know she gonna want ice cream all this shit and you you want that shit too because you know us niggas We like to eat but these niggas, these bitches they love to eat more than us So your pockets gonna be so fucking dense. There's only room for one person for dessert Is it gonna be you or them? That's your choice to decide you know Or you could be a smart nigga and just be like yo man I ain't with that shit baby you know we better, we better go to fucking around the corner and get some loose Caesars in the pot, you know? <laughs> and example number two, you know? I know y'all heard this a lot and it's true. Pretty girls, man, they always finessing the brother for a ride. A ride, you know, a ride. And the thing is that, like, us stupid dudes, we give them a ride. And the thing is that, like, pretty girls, let me just be straight up, man. Pretty girls, they, they don't need car you know and there's gonna be a dumb nigga that's always gonna give him a ride so she got one nigga that gonna feed her tummy and she got another nigga gonna give her a ride and the thing is that like the dude that's gonna give her a ride he always gonna feel like he's he's he, he could get that and in reality he's not getting that he's he's driving her he's like a butler he's driving every he she want but in a sense it ain't really he ain't reaping the benefits, if you get what I'm saying, you know? And the thing is that, like, these dudes, uh, they stupid. They will stroll out of bed at any time to give this girl a ride. She could be at a club grinding on some nigga and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? And she would call your ass and she'd be like, um, hey, uh, I need a ride, so and so, you know, with my Opa, you know, it's, uh, it's not coming. I don't know what's going on. You know, it's late and, you know, my homegirl's left. You know, I don't want to bother you. Can you help me out? The stupid nigga gonna be like, um, yeah, yeah, it's all cool. I don't mind. I mean, I just had to take my mom to the hospital, but it's all good. I mean, she could wait. You know, I'll go get you because, you know, I don't want you like that, you know? And she'd be like, you sure? You know, it's okay. Like, don't worry about it. You know, the smooth Mac Daddy was, I got you. I got you. Nigga, you ain't got shit, nigga. She got your ass. And that's where it starts. And you gonna start picking her up from the club. And then next thing you know, you take her into everywhere. Probably take her into the next nigga. 
for the next nigga. And that's what happens and the thing is that, you know? So that's what it is. And moving on to number three. Shit, nigga, it's not enough that you driving her around, but you gonna be her flunker. A flunker means her fucking errand boy with her. You gonna be the dude that's gonna take her shopping and shit. You gonna be the nigga that take her shopping. You might feel, it might feel like you, you getting in there cause y'all shopping, y'all being seen and stuff, buying things, but really ugly nigga you not you're gonna be the nigga the dumb nigga holding the bags and she's gonna be taking them and put them on the checkout line and everything and that's don't be that guy man you're gonna just be looking stupid and like you know and you're gonna it's gonna slowly not pick in right away but then it's gonna later on progress and you're gonna see like what the fuck i'm holding all this shit for and everything every day i want to go shopping this and this and that and this hopefully she ain't spending your money with that too too my nigga don't let that happen mm -mm. Moving on to number four. And this is kind of cold, but it's true. Don't be the dude, like if she has kids, don't be the dude to be there and take care of kids and babysit kids, especially if you're not a man, my brother. Don't be there babysitting her, taking care of her badass kids and shit, this and that, while the other nigga is out there chilling with his nigga and he gonna be calling like, uh, yeah, um, can you watch him? Can you watch Bobby? Nah, I can't do it, you know, with my, you know, so and so. I, got, I can't take Bobby this weekend, you know, I got that thing I gotta do. What am I told you? What thing? That thing I told you I gotta do. This and that. Boom. And there you go. Next thing you know, you fucking playing with Bobby and shit. You fucking playing fucking Xbox and shit with Bobby and everything. And this nigga, he could have been there with Bobby the whole time. And like, you gonna be always that nigga that's always gonna be there with a child. Don't be that guy, man. Come on, especially if you don't have, man. Just don't do it, you know? And another one. Some guys do this and it's like, yo. Ah, I can't do this. Don't pay for her bills, my bro. Like, if she has bills, don't pay that shit, man. Like, come on. I have, we all got bills too. You don't need to be paying for her bills, especially if you're not her man. Come on, bro. Like, some dudes, I see some dudes, they do that. Stupid friends don't do They pay their bills and shit like that. And the thing is that, like, the girl could always feel like, you know what? He's going to be good for it. If I need help with this, he, I'm always going to call him and stuff like that. Don't do that, bro. I mean, to each his own. You got it. And that's solid friendship. You have a solid friendship. But in the back of your mind, you know you want to fuck her. You want to pay her bills. You bank her like that. Hey, by all means, do it, though. But who's really hurting who at the end of the day, you know? Who's really being real? Who's using who? Moving on to the next example. I mean, you are Mr. Fix-It. You know, you ain't plumbing those pipes. So you gotta be fixing something else, right? Her TV broke. Her son's laptop is broke. Her son's bike don't work. Uh, her computer crashed, this and that. Like, she gonna call you to fix all these problems and shit. And you gonna be like, yeah, I could do that. And I could fix that. She probably call you, can you fix my car? You gonna think that, yeah, I'm gonna fix the car. You know, damn well your ass ain't no fucking mechanic. You gonna go over there and try to fix her car just cause you think you could get that ass. But you're not gonna get it. Cause you're not a mechanic and you just wanna get that and it's not gonna work. And the thing is that she just using you to fix things and stuff. You know, you the successful stupid nigga. That's the first nigga she could call up and everything, you know? And yeah, man, don't do that, man. Don't do that. Don't, don't, don't go out there fixing shit that you don't know how to fix. Don't try to be a fucking maintenance man and you ain't, you never unscrew, unscrew the light bulb before. You need to be screwing that light bulb. So, another one. You can't for die her, right? So by now, dudes know that they in the friend zone. They ain't gonna get out. But don't let, don't, don't be the dude that can't for die her every time like a nigga break a heart, this and that. You're gonna be the shoulder to lean on. And the thing is that friends, guy friends, they always wait for opportunities and stuff. So they gonna confident down her, make her feel good. I'm like, oh girl, you don't need that shit. I would never done that to you, this and that. You know, you okay. And that's when it comes to the part when you're gonna be the guy that's giving her a ride and everything, this and that. And you know, they say, you know, shoulder to cry on is a dick to ride on, but nigga, not all the time. How long she gonna, how long you gonna be waiting for her to ride that dick, nigga? You're gonna be waiting for ages and shit. So don't be that dude that just gonna be always gonna let her cry on your shoulder and everything and this and that. Don't be that guy, man. Just, just say no. And that's all I have. And you know, just if you see yourself in those situations, man, you gotta pull yourself out of there quick. And you know, if you, especially if you start seeing early stages, if you 
thought to talk to this girl. And you just have to be smart enough and build it up to yourself. You know, it's always good to be a nice guy, but don't be a doormat. And we all been into it before. So, you know, I hope this video helps some of you guys shed some light, some of your situations. And, you know, hope you like the video. Hope you like, you know, like, comment, subscribe. And this is RB. Check it in. Check it out. I'm out. Peace.